Good morning. For I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We welcome you this morning to the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ, located at 189 South Burdnick Road in the city of Virginia Beach, where our pastor is the Elder Bruce Elliott Hughes Sr. and our First Lady Vicki Hughes. We welcome you to come to have a worship experience with us today. Come, lift up the name of Jesus. We thank those for being here in the sanctuary and those that are viewing by internet. Now we'll have an opening selection by the choir. Elder Davis. We'll come in that order. Oh, sweet wonder. Oh, sweet wonder. Jesus, the Son of God. Oh, sweet wonder, oh, sweet wonder, Jesus, the Son of God. One more time. Oh, sweet wonder, oh. Sweet wonder, Jesus, the Son of God. Oh, sweet wonder, oh, sweet wonder, Jesus, the Son. 
of God. Yes, yes. Say yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Our Father, our Father, we come to you today, O oh Lord, as humbly as we know how. We thank you today, O oh God. We thank you for life. We thank you for health. And we thank you for strength. We thank you for another day in the land of the living, O oh God. We thank you for the activities of our limbs, O oh God. We thank you for breath still being in our body, O oh God. We thank you for another chance to come into your temple, O oh God, to tell you thank you. Thank you. Thank you, oh God. We may not be feeling the best, but we thank you, oh God. Thank you for your grace, oh God. Thank you for your mercy, oh God. Oh God, we thank you today, oh God. God, we invite you into this place today, oh God. We invite you to reign on us today, oh God. To be with us today, oh God. As we lift up your name, oh God. As we lift up you, oh God. As we lift you up high, oh God just to tell you thank you, oh God. Stretch out your hand on us today, oh God. Stretch out your hand on us today, oh God. Stretch out your hand today on us, oh God. Some need deliverance today, oh God. Some need deliverance today, oh God. Some need to be set free today, oh God. Some people need healing today, oh God. We're asking you to do it all today, oh God. And God, while you're here, oh Father, touch our speaker today, oh God. Strengthen him today, oh God. Strengthen him today, oh God. Word his lips today, oh God. In your name, oh God. Let him talk like you want him to talk. Let him move like you want him to move, oh God. Oh God, we thank you today. And if you do these things, oh God, we'll tell you thank you. 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 In the name of Jesus, thank God, and amen. scripture reading this morning can be found in the book of Lamentation, the third chapters, verses 25 through 33. And read as thus. The Lord is good unto them that wait upon him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that bear the yoke in his youth. 
He sit it along and keep it silent because he had borne it upon him. He put it his mouth in the dust. If so be there may be hope. He give it his cheek to him that smited him. He is filled full with reproach. For the Lord will not cast off forever. But though he cause grief, yet will he be compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. For he do it not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. We thank God for the blessed reading of his word. Amen and amen. may be seated. We have a selection by the choir. Together. Come on. Whoa, you know God is smiled on you. Come on. God whoa, has. Come on, y'all. My Lord. He has smiled on me. He did everything to me. Amazing grace. How sweet. How sweet the sound. That saved the wretch. That saved the wretch like me. I once was lost. I once was lost. But now, but now I found, yeah, yeah. I once was blind. Now I see. But now yeah. I see. Oh, smile on me. Smile on me. He has. He, he has. Smile on me, yeah. Through my sickness. God do. When I didn't know what to do, yeah, he keep on smiling. He's been good. He keep on smiling. He's been good. He's been good. 
Deacon Waller. Good morning, Saints. I'll be coming to you, coming to you with the affirmation of faith. You can find it in page 607 of the Yes Lord Hymnal on your program, or it'll probably be on the screen. I'll be the leader, and you be the response. We believe the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible word of God. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God, which is in Christ at his return. We believe in regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We believe in the baptism in the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 and 4, is given to believers who ask for it. Altogether, we believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit, by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. Now, we're going to have our welcome, and we're going to call on First Lady, praise, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to have praise and worship. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. How many of you know that the Lord is able? How many of you know that the Lord is able? He is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think. Hallelujah. So we all know this song, so come on and join in with us. God is able. Hallelujah. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all you could ask or think, according to the power that works in you you God is able to do just what he said he would do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God Cause he won't give up on you He's able Oh, 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 oh. He's able Yes he is Oh, say God God is able to do Just what he Just said what he, said. he will do Give up on God, cause he won't give up on 
Whatever you need, whatever you need, whatever you need. 
Yes, he will. He'll open the door. Yes, he will. He'll give you peace. Yes, he will. He'll give you joy. Yes, he will. Whatever you need. Yes, he will. My God is able. Glory, glory, glory. He's able. He is able. He is able. Ooh, my, my, my. Sometimes we just got to be reminded that he is able. Come what may, God is able. Sickness, God is able. Financial problems, God is able. He is able. Ooh, my, my. What a mighty God we serve. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Yes, glory to God. He is able. Yes. Yes, Lord. Able. He's able. He's able. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Ah, you ought to be encouraged right now. You ought to be encouraged. You ought to feel a little better right now. Sometimes you got to be reminded that he's able. You got to be reminded he's able. Sometimes we take our focus off of God and, 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 and let our problems get you up, know, but we just got to be reminded that he's able. He's able. He's a God of more than enough and plenty. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Sometimes, you know, you, you're going through things and you've got so many things going on, you just kind of lose track and you kind of just just have a little doubt but sometimes you got to remind yourself that he is able that he is able Ooh, thank you thank you choir Ooh, thank you Lord Ooh, mm, mm, mm. yes yes Lord yes Lord mm, thank you Lord mm. yes God thank you Lord Ooh. Yes, God. See. Mm. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Woo. Uh, uh, our, our faith in God in the natural is the substance of things that we know that everything is worked out in the spirit. Now, I'm going to say that again. Our faith is a substance in the natural that we know everything is already worked out in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell. I was, I was a little nervous, but I'm encouraged now. Woo. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Yes, yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Yes. Uh, glory. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Have your way, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. We glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Mm. All right. All right. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right. All right. We're going to move on. We're going to have our, our welcome by our own First Lady, First Lady Hughes.
to God. I'm going to move on with the service. Yes, yes. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. Our pastor is the other Bruce Hughes, and we're located here at 189 South Burnett Road. Thank you, Jesus in the city of Virginia Beach, in a section called SeaTac. Yeah. I stand before you to welcome any visit, first time visitors. If we have any, I ask you to please stand. We have joining us today, Sarai Jones, um, and she's from Victorious Living. Praise God, give her a <laughs> All right. And also, and it just, oh, made a big old smile come on my face when I looked over and I saw Bishop Brown and Mother Teresa Brown. And they're celebrating their 45th wedding anniversary. Yes, praise God. We're so happy that you all decided to pick St. Stephen's to worship with us this morning. And then to all the saints, all the St. Stephen's, Look at each other and say, good morning, welcome. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to continue on what we were doing, that is praising God. And later on, we're going to hear a word from God from the elder, and he's ready to go. I heard him back there. You know how when a, when a race was ready to go, he's ready to go. So I'm going to move out the way, but I want everyone to join in the service with us. Well, Amen. We hope you feel welcome. Now we're going to have our children's church. Good morning. Prayer will be by Amari, and Jeremiah will be doing our scripture. Please stand and bow your head. Thank you for having us today. God bless us today. Bless Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Amen. All right. Now we have scripture by Jeremiah. The harvest. He told them the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, the Lord, to send out workers into his harvest field. Luke 10, verse 2. All right, thank you. You may be seated. All right, I am going to go over the lesson today. So what was the name of our lesson today? Jesus calls us to bring in the harvest. All right, all right, so what season are we keeping? April and May. Harvest time. Number By the end of the year. So you plan at the beginning so that towards the end of the year when it's time to harvest, you have something that you can harvest. So if you wait too long, eat. Have anything to eat? All right, and Word is not going to be so in our lesson today. What can we do to have it? Not plan because he was gonna. He thought he was. It was gonna flood and be dry. Play it safe. Play it safe. We're not out here looking. Said that eight out of ten people never plan. Invite people. That's right. They're not inviting nobody to church. You didn't invite a friend. As workers for the kingdom, what can we do? Ask them if they want to go. It's not your fault. You can just pray for them. Okay, so this is what God asks you to do. So as long as you've been listening and you've done your part, uh, you will be just fine. Um, Amen. Thank you for the children's church. Now we'll have a selection by the choir followed by our offering. Come on, put your hands together this morning. How many of y'all stronger than you ever been? Said I'm stronger, yeah, than I haven't been. You know why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that? Yeah, yeah. Said I'm stronger than I am. 
jump in. Come on, y'all, put your hands together this morning. The devil been trying me all week. So I just came to let him know and sir notice on me. Yeah. Said I'm stronger. Yes, sir. Then I haven't been. You know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. Yes, sir. Now I know I win. Said I. I am. Come on, clap your hands. Everybody ought to clap your hands. Everybody ought to clap your hands. Come on, let's go to the back. Yeah. Said, I've been chained. I've been chained. I've been chained. All right, I've been chained. I've been chained. I've been chained. I've been chained. Come on, I've been, I've been chained. I've been chained. You get anybody out there? I've been chained today. Um, he brought you from sin. He brought you from a mighty long way. Um, if I look back, if I look back, if I look back, got memory lane. If I look back, got memory lane. Um, I will remember rolling my daddy down here, down here. I remember singing this song. I remember singing this song. I remember looking over his body I remember looking up over his body and I'm thinking I'm about to lose my mind and I'm thinking I'm about to lose my mind but God he touched me but God he sustained me but God he delivered me but God he brought me from my body long then I kept on kept on walking I kept walking like Job I kept walking I was suffering for a long time I even went through a divorce y'all and then I, I did not I did not, I did not, I thought about uh, losing my mind, um, I thought about taking my own life, uh, I'm not ashamed uh, to tell you uh, what prayer will do for you, uh, what prayer will do for you, uh, what prayer will do, you know what to do, uh, hey, I've been a wash, I've been a wash, I watch a wash, I've been a wash, I've been a wash in the blood, I've been a wash in the blood, and it feel me uh, with of, uh, he filled me uh, with some joy. He filled me uh, with his anointing. He filled me uh, with the power. I can walk over the serpents. I can walk over people who don't like me. I can walk around people that talk about me. I can walk around it because I'm stronger. Because God, he did good for that. He did me. Uh, he did it for me. Uh, yeah. Said I'm stronger. Yes, sir. Then I haven't been. You know why? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know that. Yes, sir. Said I. Now, yeah. Come on. Put those hands together. If you know that you're strong, yeah. say yeah. 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 Amen, amen. I stand before you this morning and to conduct our offertory worship. We would like you to stay in that same vein. You was all happy this morning. You were jumping and shouting this morning. You were clapping your hands this morning. But it's time that re we render unto the Lord. I, for one, can say that through liberal giving, the Lord has continued to bless my family. Completed, he continued to bless my health. I thank you for the air that we breathe. I thank you for the aches and pain in the body. That I'm able to feel it, to knowing that I'm still above ground. So I don't mind giving unto the Lord because it all belonged to him anyway. He just let us borrow the 90%. But the 10 belonged to him. Did y'all catch that? He allowed us to borrow. But the 10 belonged to him. Whatever you do with the remaining balance, he allowed you to do so gracefully. So on the day, we have Minister Kennedy, who has our credit card. He's to my left. We have several ways of giving. 
We give good old cold hard cash. We give through checks made good for today. We do understand that some of us, we try to press our way, but God understands. Did y'all hear that? God understands. It's your desire to give. If you know that if you don't have it this time, if you trust him, he will make sure you have it the next time because you're putting your trust in him. Our Deacon Chairman Mitchell is holding our tithes and offering vessel. He's holding our tithe and offering vessel. Deacon Harold Waller is holding our benevolent and our mission offering. Every day is an opportunity for you to do something good for God's people. And our pastor makes sure that there is always a mission. There's always somebody who is sick and shut in. And this is what that offering is for. So please don't get it confused. Mission and benevolent offering by Deacon Harold Waller. Raise your, raise your vessel, sir. Chairman Mitchell for our tithes and offering. Amen. Amen. And we thank God that you, so those of you who are already given through Givelify. On today, we have Mother Yelton who is giving her tithes and offering. Brother Ronnie Ford who's giving his offering. Uh, Elder Rose, is, he left his offering. And we have our visiting pastor, Elder Thomas, is given from Holy Temple Church of God in Christ, is also giving us an offering. So we thank God for you, sir, and him and his lovely family. So we ask that you please stand. And up under the leadership of the usher, they will guide you out. So raise that offering to heaven. And one last instruction, don't ball God's money up. Stretch it out. You want God to stretch some things out for you? Stretch out his money. And he'll stretch it out for you. Gracious Father God, we thank you for this morning. First of all, allowing us to be able to wake up this morning. To get down on our knees, oh Father God, to tell you thank you for allowing us to see a new day. Thank you for this offer to her worship, oh God. For those who have to give, oh Father God. Those who are already give, giving, oh Father God, through Givelify. And those who desire to give and don't have it this time, oh God. But we ask that you bless it, oh God. Press it down, oh God. Cause it to run over. Oh, Father God, for your kingdom. And the tearing down of Satan's stronghold everywhere. This is our prayer in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. And amen. Under the leadership of the usher. Ooh, glad I got Jesus in my heart. Glad I got Jesus down in my heart. Glad I got Jesus down in my heart. Glad I got Jesus in my heart. Glad I got Jesus down in my heart. Glad I got Jesus in my heart. I'm glad I got Jesus, yeah. Glad I got Jesus in my heart. Them, they I got love in my heart. Glad I got love, y'all. In my heart. I'm glad I got love, y'all. In my heart. Glad I got Jesus. In my heart. Yeah, I got Jesus. I got Jesus. I got Jesus. I got Jesus. I got I got a cheese. Ain't nobody got G. I got a cheese. Ain't nobody got G. I got a cheese. Ain't nobody got G. I got a cheese. If you got G, I got a cheese. You got a mighty good friend. I got a cheese. Then if you got G, I got a cheese. You got a lawyer in the courtroom. I got a cheese. Then if you got G, I got a cheese. You got a doctor in the sea room. I got a cheese. Then if you got G, I got a cheese. Then if you got G, I got a cheese. You got Jesus. I got Jesus. Let me see you wave your hand. Uh, I got Jesus. Say, if you got Jesus, I got Jesus. Let me make a job for now. I got Jesus. I'm making a little job for now. I got Jesus. I'm making a little job for now. I got Jesus. 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 
Say, I got the Jesus. I got the Jesus. I got the Jesus. I got the Jesus. Say, I got the Jesus. I got the Jesus. Say, I got the Jesus. On a Sunday morning, when everything is wrong, seems like nobody will answer the telephone. I can call a man. I can call a man. I ain't gotta get on no phone. I just getting down on my knees. Say, oh Jesus. Say, no, I got. Say, whoa, whoa, Jesus. Say, oh Jesus. I got you. I got a guy. I got you. I got a guy. I got you. Anybody got you? I got you. 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 I got Jesus. I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. Yeah. Fix it, Jesus. I got Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Lord. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. I know that you ain't. Fix it, Jesus. I know that you can't. Fix it, Jesus. You got all power. Fix it, Jesus. In the palm of your hand. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, fix it, fix it, Lord. Fix it for me. Fix it, I'm down here waiting. Fix it, I'm down here waiting. Fix it, I'm waiting on you. Fix it, fix it, fix it, Jesus. Amen. We've been having some church up in here today. Amen. I stand to give you the announcements. Um, not for all of the announcements for the month, but what I want you to remember. Our annual men's day at 5 o'clock p.m. today. Herald of His Coming Ministry, Pastor Donnie Sewell Sr., along with the Herald of His Coming. This church is packed right now. Amen. I want to see you at 5 o'clock. Is that all right? Amen. Pack it out. All right, also I want to remind all of the members of the St. Stephen Church of God in Christ, your national Laity Report offering is due today. If you're a member of St. Stephen, this is all over the Church of God in Christ. We are collecting our Laity Report, and that is $20. Also, we want to remind you on Saturday, at 1 o'clock p.m., we do have an outgoing appointment along with our pastor to the Yeshua Church of God in Christ, where the pastor, Bishop Tony H. Campbell, is the pastor. The bus will depart the church grounds at 8 o'clock a.m. Not from Friendship, not from Atlantis, not from Chesapeake, but from the church grounds at 8 o'clock a.m. If you're on the list, please, if any way something comes up, let someone know so that way we can move properly on that trip. On October the 15th, evangelist, evangelist missionaries, your report, Diggingist missionary, missionaries, your reports are due for the national church. And we will give you the announcements a little bit later uh, following this service as your assistant district missionary. I would like to see all of the ladies in the conference office for five minutes, just five minutes. And we can give you more of the announcements and that. On October the 22nd, special service on that day. All ladies are asked to worship in your pink. And our speaker for that morning is our own evangelist, Patricia Oates. Amen. We are coming back again at 5 o'clock the same evening for the Usher Board's anniversary. Thank God for the ushers. Look at the youth ushers. Thank God for the ushers. Amen. 
And then on the 28th, we're going to have a one-night youth revival. And I believe our revivalist is in the building today. Hallelujah to God. Our own missionary, Brittany. Oh, man, she's going to bring the word. She's going to be our revivalist. You do not want to miss this and want to remind everyone we have a special lady. We call her the leading lady of the Church of God in Christ. She will be celebrating her birthday on October the 29th. Amen. And listen, now we have the miracles of faith on next Sunday. We have another appointment on next Sunday, the miracles of faith. Morning worship will be at 11 o'clock a.m. No Sunday school. No Sunday school. We're going to the miracles of faith. And we ask that each and every one please be reminded of the announcements. If you're not, you know, sure of your announcements, please see Sister Missionary Colleague Rose in the office or see me and we can further give you the information of these announcements. Amen? Amen. Okay, we heard all our announcements and observations. Please govern yourself accordingly. And now we are about to hear from heaven. We're going to hear the uh, introduction of our speaker by our own pastor, Pastor Bruce Elliott Hughes, Sr. Amen. We're on the presider, Minister Land. Come on, let's give him a hand ovation. Amen. The Lord worked through circumstances and events of our lives, amen, to bring glory to his name. And we, uh, well, I'm glad to have him here at the St. Stephen Church of God in Christ. Amen. It's our desire to put the ministers to work to prepare them for the next level of ministry. Amen. To prepare them to become elders of the Church of God in Christ. Amen. We honor him. Amen. We honor Bishop Jerry Brown. Yeah. Amen. And Lady Brown. Amen. Spending time with us celebrating. Amen. Their 45th wedding anniversary. Yeah. Amen. We extended him the invitation to come up with us. Amen. But the wife wanted them to sit together. Amen. They just want to relax. Amen. Have a glorious time. Amen. We thank God for you, worship. We thank God for Ella Jacobs. Amen. <laughs> Ella Davis and Minister Kennedy, Ella Welton O's, Ella Jerry Wilson. Amen. And all the brethren that are here on today. Some are not able to attend on today. Amen. But we're grateful to be here on today. Amen. We're also glad to see Amen. The Bernie's Forbes. Amen. She has been ill. Amen. But nevertheless, the Lord has blessed her and gave her the strength to be here today. Amen. One more time. Let's get our Lord a hand. Pray for her. We've been praying for her during the Tuesday prayer, Saturday morning. Amen. Our daily prayers and devotion for she and her family, allowing her to be here on today. Amen. We're grateful to see you, Sister Barbara Wilson. Amen. Mother Loretta Douglas. Amen. Been praying for the sick and the shut in. And God has raised them, allowed them to be here on today. It's time to hear from heaven on today. I have this great honor and privilege to present our speaker on today. The Apostle Paul wrote a letter to Timothy, a young pastor in the ministry, trying to inspire him and encourage him to preach the gospel. That a charge he there before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who should judge the quick and the dead as his appearing and as his kingdom. Elder Greg, he told him, preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, to rebuke, reprove, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. Catch it for the time we come, we will not endure sound doctrine. Which is today, after their own lust, they heat themselves, teachers having itching ears. They should turn away from the ears from the truth, but unto fables. But we have a preacher today who will preach the gospel in the presence, persons of Ella Donnie Gregory. He was born to the late Miss and Mrs. Robert and Margaret Gregory in the year 1956. Grandpa, how old is dirt? Amen. <laughs> Born and raised in the historic section of SeaTac. He's the tenth of the eleven siblings, educated in Virginia Beach public school system, retired in 2018 from the US government. He served over 38 years. Married to the love of his life, Sister Faye Gregory, they've been married over 46 years. And that's a testimony. 
November the 19th, 1977. Amen. I'll put these numbers out because a lot of our younger members, amen, they weren't born at the time. Amen. <laughs> but he's a living witness that the Lord will keep you. Amen. He'll keep you in your marriage if you, amen, continue to communicate. Amen. He just came back from a vacation. Amen. Manassas, him and his wife have a glorious time. That's the secret to success, spending that quality time with your spouse. He loved to sing and praise God with along with his, the Gregory brothers along with Lady Faye. Amen. He recently appointed the national servant leader in the Church of God in Christ. He's a gospel preacher. He loved and preached and teach the gospel. After the male course of getting into the selection, the next voice, speaking voice we hear of the Ella Donnie Gregory. Hear ye him as he bring forth the word of God. If I never sing another song down here on this earth, I'll be singing with the angels in my, in my new home. If I never sing another song down here on this earth, I'll be singing with the angels in my, in my new home. Singing, I'll be I'll be Yeah I'll be singing With the angels In my In my new home If I never Sing another song Down here on this earth I'll be singing With the angels In my In my new home If I never Sing another song down here on this earth. I'll be singing with the angels in my in my new home. Yeah, I'll be singing. I'll be singing. I'll be singing. I'll be singing with the angels in my in my new home. Say it again. I'll be singing. I'll be singing. Any river that seems to be impossible have you any mountains that you cannot turn up through God specializes in the In the impossible, uh, he can do no other power can, can do. Have you come on, sing it with me? Any mountain. 
Hey! That she impossible have you any river that you cannot that you cannot tunnel through hey God Possible, possible, and he can do, and he can do. Look at somebody say he can do, he can do, and he can what do what no other power can can do. Thank you, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Clothed in our right mind, articulation of speech, and the activity of our limbs. We want to tell you, thank you, Jesus. Because you've been so good. You've been so kind. And you've been so wonderful. And we want to tell you, thank you today. Glory, come in the room today, touch that feeble heart, touch that wondering mind, oh God, will you bring up that low spirit and overshadow the day with your love and your compassion. You do these things, we'll give your name the praise, the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. I am going back with Jesus. I am going back with Jesus. I am going where the living Waters flow. I can hear my Savior calling. Repentant is a falling. My heart is turned back to Jesus. And I point at yourself. And say, ah, point at yourself. Ah, point at yourself. Ah, must go. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God. I'm happy to be here this morning in the midst of God's people and in the midst of saints. Amen. Amen. The apostles, they preached to the saints. Hey, they had to carve out the early church. And they was talking to the saints. Spread abroad. You know, they had to get out of town. They couldn't hang around in Jerusalem. It was too hot around in Jerusalem. They had to get out of town. Amen. Amen. They're talking that Jesus stuff. 
They had to get out of town, and the apostles had to encourage them. Tell them, show them how to hold on and keep the faith in the midst of all of that's going on in that day. Come on, let's give the Lord a great big hand praise this morning. Amen. I'm going to read my scripture first because it's something behind this scripture I'm reading this morning. And the scriptures that I will follow these. But I wanted to read this first because I feel a certain way today. Amen. Amen. From the book of Isaiah, the 28th chapter. And verse 10 says, for precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line. Line upon line. There are little and there are little. Now, I want you to jump down as if though that you didn't get that. Uh, Isaiah, he's going to say it again. So I want you to read along with me this time in case you didn't get that. Amen. He said, verse 13, but the word of the Lord. Come on. But the word of the Lord. Wait a minute, I want you to repeat after me. But the word of the Lord. Was unto, them. was unto them, precept, precept upon precept, upon precept, precept, upon precept, upon precept. Line, line upon line, 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 line upon line. line. Here, a little, Here a little, and there a little, Here. that they might, they might go. go. You can have your seat. Praise God, that they may go, that you don't poop out, that you don't quit. And I had this inspiration this morning, uh, and uh, you know, I grew up in this church, and uh, I got saved at 21 years old. And uh, this is my former pastor, before Bishop Thomas, was a man here called Elder Burton. And every now and then, Ella Burton would read this scripture. And he would read this scripture as if that he had had nothing prepared. So it gave him leverage and latitude to go because he had so much to say that he wanted to encompass everything in what he was going to say. Line upon line, <laughs> precept upon precept, here a little and there a little, that you might what? Go. That when you leave from this place, you'll be more inspired. That you will be more encouraged. That you will be more determined to reach your goal. You know, when Jesus left, he, the Bible said uh, he descended. And the, the one who descended, he ascended. And he gave gifts unto men. He made some prophets. He made some apostles. He made some evangelists. He made some helps. For what? For the perfecting of the saints and for the edifying of the church. That's all my goal is today is to edify you and to inspire you. And there's so much that I want to say that I'm, it's going to be line by line and precept upon precept that you may what? Go. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy to be here this morning. I don't know what to do. To our most revered and distinguished pastor, my friend and brother, Bruce Elliott Hughes. <laughs> Bruce Elliott Hughes, that's my man. And uh, we in touch. We got our own way and our own thing. And he know what's going on all the way around the block. Come on, let's give him another hand. Thank you. I texted him when I was on the road. Me and my wife, we went up to mess of nothing. That's my first time going up there. Vacationing Vacation a little bit. A little me time, you know, up in the mountains. But I clear, I don't think my wife liked them mountains, you know. <laughs> she was having a fit up there in them things. Oh, uh, man, we went up all on the summit and looked down over Charlottesville, Harrisonburg. And we just had a wonderful time in, uh, in, 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 you know, in that place. And I checked my pastor, let him know that, you know, I was having a good time. Don't forget the picture. Well, you know, <laughs> and to our first lady... 
Madam Vicky, First Lady, Vicky, Vicky Hughes, Vicky Smith Hughes. Yeah, that's her SeaTac name, y'all. <laughs> Vicky Smith Hughes. And we thank God for her this morning. And to all of the preachers, uh, Ella Kennedy, Ella Lane, Ella Olds, Elder, who was that in the back back there? Uh, Wilson, Elder Wilson, Elder Paul Freeman, and all of you. And to my very, very good friend, uh, the Bishop Brown. It's, it's just an apostle, right? God bless you. Thank God. Bishop Brown, Bishop Brown, when I saw him come in, I quickened in my spirit. You know why I quickened Mother Durham? Because he was very, very instrumental when I came to the Lord. He was a young man who had already been in the church several years before, and he was getting his, he was, he was, he was in that mood of evangelizing. And I would, I would visit him on America's Avenue. He would, he would be conducting revivals for the Aubrey's on America's Avenue. And him and Good Time Brady and Elder and Sister Terry and all of them people who, who was very instrumental in getting us going in this community. And I'll never forget him. And now he's a bishop and he got his own work and been married 44 years. <laughs> and he's a gospel preacher now. I'm just a... I'm just an understudy. I, you know, I got my stuff from him. He's a, that's a preaching man over there. <laughs> Praise God. And to, and to our sainted mother, mother, mother Durham, God bless you. And to my older sister, assistant church mother, Barbara Ann Talley. And to, and to mother Maud Freeman. I, um, I, I wanted to say this. I, 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 missed, I missed two of the most popular families in SeaTac home going services that was last week. And um, I, I, I couldn't, me and my wife, we was, we was away. And uh, two families that, that really are uh, great families of this community. You know, the Brown family and then the Mitchell slash Freeman family. And I'm so glad to know that they a product from this place. You know, and I knew I knew I knew all of the I knew all of the four parents. That was them. I knew Nanny. I knew Nanny Freeman. Beautiful lady. Amen. We used to get ready to do mischief back there in Albers Creek. And and we thought we didn't think nobody was in the Ford's house. And we was getting ready to go in there and throw down. And Nanny holler out, Junior, what you around here doing? I said, uh oh, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> We thought we, we thought this we thought the way was clear, but then it was in that back room. <laughs> and then and then her daughter, her daughter, Mother Blanche's daughter, I mean Mother uh, Nana's daughter was Mother Blanche, Mother Blanche uh, Mitchell, who was a great pioneer here. Amen. And she she had a wonderful family. Amen. All them pretty daughters and. And, and, and Binky went on home to be with the Lord, but God knows we got Tuesday still here. <laughs> Amen. And Diane, too, yeah. And uh, we're so happy for that. And I thank, the God, thank God for my wife, Sister Faye. She don't, she don't ask for much. God couldn't give me a better. She's a very, very kind lady. She's so nice to me that it ain't funny. <laughs> My wife loved herself some Don Gregory. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about, right, Freeman? <laughs> My wife loved herself some Don Gregory. And uh, I don't know, the Lord, the Lord been dealing with her these days. She been writing and everything. Talking about, I got a sermon you might want to preach. <laughs> I might want to preach this sermon I'm writing up. I, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, these I mean, these are new new grounds I'm walking over. You know, I am. I'm not used to that right now. 
But what I am really happy about is my, and I'm talking to the young folk today. Young folk, listen at me. I've been around a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm happy today for, I got mixed emotions because, you know, I started out in this way in 77. And I started a national work in 84. And I started out along that track. And I had a break in service. But, you know, God hadn't forgot all of those years that I had already sowed seed in the ministry. You don't, you don't forget that. You might forget it. And you know that you know the landscape and the and the what night might change, but God, but God don't forget that stuff. And uh, you know, and what hurt me the most from that there a day and era was that my wife and I we was we always sung together even when we was in the world we sung together and my brother so that's why we still together we we that's a bond right and my and we we, we were singing singing in the, in the Lord and we got a break in Memphis. And we went to Memphis, and we sat waiting to go up on the stage to sing at Mason Temple. And what happened, somebody else sung in our space. And so we didn't get to sing. Kind of hurt my heart for my wife because, hey, man, I'm saved and sanctified, and here I am getting ready to do for the Lord, and it was cut short. That was, 40, that was 37 years ago. And you know what? You know, my, I had a break in service. Line upon line, precept upon precept, uh, here a little, there a little, that you might what? Oh. And you might go. Listen, I just, well, I'm going to take you now. You're going to travel with me today. And got a call the other week. And uh, they told me that they wanted me to preach in the middle. I thought I was talking to a church with a mouth. Now, now, not that I'm a great preacher, but out of all of that, you know what I'm going to take the advantage of? Me and that pretty lady singing that song that I was left at the foot of the, foot of the temple with. Told her, get your voice right. We're going to sing more than wonderful before I speak in milk. Huh? And you don't, and you don't, and you don't, and you don't have to. Now, 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 I won't get it wrong now. I'm not preaching in the main service. You know, this is with the agitacy. Bishop Dickerson Wells stuff. He the one that, he said, Gregory, just get ready. You're going to be preaching at one or four locations. You're either going to be preaching at Bethel in Memphis, or you're going to be at uh, my church in Montfort, or you're going to be preaching before all of these agitators. I ain't made up my mind yet. He said, but you just get ready. Lord, I start sweating. I didn't, I, I'm still not right. <laughs> hear thou, and then and, and hear, hear ye. I'm still, I'm still shaking. I'm still shaking. And, 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 and uh, but, but I'm going to Memphis, and I'm going to do what thus saith the Lord. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. Pre, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Amen. And see, and young folk, and young folk, when you get a, a, a Jewish dictionary or a national break, and you belong to a local church, you don't have to sever your, your uh, allegiance to your local church because you are somewhere acting like you some kind of a big shot. No, be humble. You're not a maverick. You're not the only one that's being allowed to do what you do. When, uh, when you know, in 1984, when, uh, when, when, when Bishop Thomas asked me, well, I told him I was available, and he told me to come on. I went to my pastor. I said, Ella Burden, I want to drive. He said, why you want to do that? I said, well, because, I'm, you, know, I don't, I, you know, I ain't doing much. I want to do something. He said, well, son, you drive all you want. But one thing I don't want you, two things I don't want you to forget and do. Don't give them folk my tithe, and don't you leave my church. 
So, so a lot of folk might have thought I was some kind of a maverick or something, but I wasn't a maverick. I was in tune with my leader. He knew, he knew my every step. I wasn't trying to use that to pivot leverage against him to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? He never second-guessed me. And I didn't let the bishop second-guess me. I was true to cold. I stayed with my leader until God took him home. Am I talking to a church with a mouth? Some of y'all was here. And, and, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and see, sometimes, young folk, I see you working. I see you getting around and you're moving. But you got you to, gotta, you know, you got to be in subjection. You know, don't be carrying it like you're the only one that ever did what you're doing. Somebody else know how to, God has given the gift of servitude to help the leader. You know what I'm saying? Am I talking to a church with a mouth? You see, and I did that for 20 years. I'm not ashamed of my game. And I, and, and, and I planted some seeds. Because I love my leader. He had to give me nothing. He already told me, he said, uh, are you going to be an uh, asset or are you going to be a liability? Did y'all get that? He let me know I ain't paying you. I ain't got nothing for you. You can drive me. I will give you something to eat, though. He said, I will feed you. But I didn't get not one dime. And every time the offering were raised, I would get up anywhere between whatever they was asking for. I've seen where I've given all the way up to $1,000. Is he, is he recording me today? I wish I was just talking to you inside the house, you know. But anyway. You know what I'm saying? You got to tell the truth sometime. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Here a little and there a little. I'm helping the young folk right now. And I see this. I see you. I see how you're gliding. And you you throw you think you but 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 man put you up, man can take you down. And uh and something something fishy went on. I don't know what. But I didn't hang around to try to investigate. And my mother, this is my mother, gone home to be with the Lord. I'm going to tell you more about her in a minute. But my mother, she saw, she saw my anguish. And she pulled me aside one day. And she said, Don, she said, Don, you know, when I married your daddy, she said, I moved into the family. Brother Durham, this is what my mama told me. She said, she said, Don, I was doing a work for your daddy's family. And he came to me and he said, Neat, what you doing? She said, I was doing the project that your family asked me to do. He said, did they ask you to do that? She said, yeah. He said, well, you do it then. But if they don't ask you to do nothing, don't you do nothing. Now that was for me because I was the one guilty of just hopping up, doing everything. Just willing to do it all. Can't nobody beat me. Now you got to ask me. If you don't ask me, I ain't going to do it. So, we, so we, you, we'll know what kind of page we're on. The pastor asked me to preach this morning, didn't he? That's why I'm on the stage. Huh? Huh? And see, a lot of people are working out of their element. You all in the way. I ain't got nobody. I'm just telling you what I see and know. You know, jobs come and jobs go. And you done messed up and tore up all kind of friendship. Because you think you somewhere. Head in the cloud, but your feet is in the mud. Huh? Am I talking to a church with a mouth this morning? Line upon line and precept 
upon people. Here a little and there a little. For what? So you may go. Now, I ain't telling nobody to stop what you're doing, but proceed with caution. Because you can be out of that space just as fast as you got in it. Then somebody going to be having to pray for you. You're going to be mad with the whole church. See, I can talk like that, man. I've been, I've been saved a long time. Can't do much with me now. You shouldn't have let me find out the secret. <laughs> Mother Durham, over in the book of, over in the book of, uh, uh, over in the book of, uh, here we go. I got it. I got you. Here it is. Uh, you know, God is in control of all of this. I, I, and, and see, we got to get back to the teaching. You know, folk getting saved and think that's all it is. No, it's a carry for the Holy Ghost. You need to have your mean butt up here on the Holy Ghost and receive ye the Holy Ghost. Huh? See the Holy Ghost. And that is the subsequent part to salvation. You get saved. Ask the Lord to forgive you for all my sins. Come in my life. And you cry and you, amen, and you break down it with tears. But Elder Burton said, now you need the gift of the Holy Ghost. And what they would do, all of those candidates, all of them candidates, they will tell you to fast this day. Don't eat nothing until 6 o'clock tonight. And when, when, when you come out here, uh, we're going to meet you at the altar. Specifically for that reason. Not a whole lot of buffoonery. And they, and they put you in an atmosphere to where you were expecting God to baptize you. They would get that foolishness out of your mind. Wouldn't they? And we tarry. They were sitting around the altar. I was standing at the altar when the fire fell. And they would just keep right on singing that song. And I would raise my hand. I would open my mouth and tell the Lord I'm thanking for saving me. And the spirit of the Lord would come down on the altar and overshadow the altar with the Holy Ghost. And I was speaking in tongues. But nobody want to tarry no more. And we got God's program mixed up with a whole lot of other stuff. And God can't even come in his own meeting. Because the folks heart are not right. They will tell us, amen, to put away the foolishness. Anoint your head with all. Read the Bible. Get away from foolishness. If you got to go to work, go to work. But steal away. Don't eat the chicken. But steal away and pray to God. And we will come out here, all of us, Tyrone Bridges, Milton Gregory, Sarah Lee Johnson. Amen. We came out here and the Lord baptized us in the Holy Ghost. But that's the subsequent. That's the power. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you don't have no power. Your power is superficial. You're not protected against the, the wind and the rain. You have nowhere to stand without the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is our keeper. He's our paracletos. He's the one that walked with God. And he walked beside us. I heard the songwriter say, he walked with me. And he talked with me. And he tell us that I am his own. Uh, look at this. Now, 
What am I saying? Precept what? What else? Line upon line. Line, up, line upon line. Here and there a little. Here a little. And for what? That we may go. Man, I'm getting along. Am I getting along all right? Now look, I want to share something with you concerning your member. Look, I'll be here shooting all across the court today. Those of you that have your Bible, you can turn to, you can turn to Proverbs. And uh, so, so we'll know that God, God hates too. God don't like everything we're doing down here. He's not, he's not pleased with everything we do. In fact, he's angry. You don't believe me? Let's read it in the Bible. There are six things that the Lord hates. You know that, right? And there are six things that are ascribed to our members. I ain't talking about physical church members. I'm talking about your own person. All of you have members. Your hand is a member. Your eyes is a member. Your heart is a member. Your feet is a member. Your tongue is a member. God said he got something against your member. And he said six of them. And he said, no, I changed my mind. It's seven of them things that I hate. Huh? And you know that's something if God hated. You know it's in trouble. Well, he's the only one that could do something about it. But he's just putting you on blast. And the first thing he hates is a proud look. Huh? A spiritual big shot. Folk that look down on you with condescension. Making it look like hey, I'm, I'm better than you. Huh? You gotta watch that. God said he hated the proud look. I, I thought about I thought about that other scripture. About that man, they were the Pharisee. The two men went up to pray. Huh? The Pharisee was known for his uh, ability in the scripture. And he went in the temple, and he went in and poked out his chest with his aristocracy and his big shot. Look at me, Lord. I pay my tithe. I give my offering. Didn't he say it? I feed the poor. And after he start, got finished swelling up with all letting God know how important he was, God looked over in the corner. Woo! And there was a man that wouldn't even as much as lift up his head. Smoked himself on the chest. He said, Lord, I'm a sinner. Have mercy on me. Forgive me for my sin. And the Lord had to testify. Said that man who, uh, who smote himself on the breast. Come on, let's read it. I don't have it. Come on, let's turn on over to Luke. Let's go to Luke a minute. Two men went up into the temple to pray. And the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee, but, but forgive me for thanking you, but I thank you that I am not like others. Men are extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican over here, this cat that's over here in the corner with them funny looking clothes on. He got a boot and a shoe on. <laughs> he don't even have a car. He look, he look terrible to me. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. 
And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto the heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful unto me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Now, come on now. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to where I started. God hate that. And let's, and you know, let's be careful how we judge the things that God don't like. If God don't like it, I don't like it. Huh? I've always been trained and taught that, you know, don't be, don't be, my mother used to call it uh, uh, a condescending, you know. No, she called it scornful. Don't be scornful on people. Don't be scornful. Y'all quiet, I got you now, don't I? <laughs> Sixteen, the Lord hate, yea, and seven is abominable. A proud look, a lying tongue. Stop talking so much. You're going to tell a lie after a while. Huh? I know a guy, when he called me, I just put the phone on and just listened at him because I can't get a word in his why. <laughs> Let's keep going on and on and on and on. It's better to be a listener than a talker. Innocent blood. This is what God hates. A heart that devises wicked imagination. That means folk that invent anything. Wicked heart. Huh? Wickedness of the heart. Conjure up wild things. Feet that swift uh, in running to mischief. Always got something going. Always stirring up trouble. Always got the gossip going on. That's why I got off of Facebook. Well, number one, ain't nothing wrong with it for you. But let me tell you what happened to me. I had an experience. One of my local friends, I had my nice picture on there, all of my stuff. And somebody was able to go into my account and take my picture and take that information and go to my friend as if that's me talking to my friend and told my friend to go to the bank because I had just came in account with some, some money. And he could get the same thing if he did what I'm telling him to do. And he did it because he know me like that. My, it was my picture. And went to the bank two times. Got all the way up to $500 and gave it to that person. But when he, he told him to go back again, and on his way back, he called me. Well, he texted me. And I texted him back. No, no, no. The man, no, he texted the man about a conversation that he and I had been talking about. And the man gave, whoever it was, gave him not the answer that was the correct answer. So he said, this ain't done. And he called me. He said, man, are you talking to me about giving somebody some money? I said, no. He said, man, I've been scammed. He went to the police station. He went to the police station. Police said, I ain't nothing I can do with that. I got off of Facebook because it hurt me so bad that somebody is that smart that they could take my picture and do that. I've been off for two years. I'm probably going to get back on, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when. If you want to get up with me, you're going to have to text me on the telephone. <laughs> I ain't going on there. You ain't going to get me in there. My wife be on there all the time. 
I can't even tell people when my birthday is. My wife do all that. She let them know, hey, my honey baby birthday. She do all that, put all that stuff. I ain't talking to nobody. <laughs> I found out that my pastor text, so we got a texting thing going. Where that? You will not steal my money no more. <laughs> Wicked imagination. Huh? The heart is desperately wicked. And who can know it? A wicked heart. That's the only member that he'll lie to himself. You can't even trust your own heart. Your own heart will tell you a lie. Am I talking, am I talking all right? But look at this now. He said, a heart that divides the wicked imagination, feet that be swift in running to mischief. The latest fad that's going on. The latest gossip. You're the first one there. <laughs> first one to know. Hot off the press. You know, they, you know it's a shame. You know, in, in this community, now, it might be a little bit of levity in this, but it, God knows it ain't funny. You know, they had put out that somebody had died in the community and the person won't dead. to get your stuff right. You don't need to be putting out. And they had it out. They had it all. A whole lot of people were saying it. And the person wasn't the saying, I'm not going nowhere. Huh? Talking too much. And you keep on talking, you're going to tell a lie after a while. Speak that swift to run to mischief. A false witness that speak of lies. Huh? And he that soweth discard among the brothers. That's one thing you would not uh, accuse me of. I ain't gonna get no stuff started among the brethren. I'm a peaceful guy. We all should study to be peaceful. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a great big hand. Praise everybody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you see, and you see in all of these verses that I've been speaking about this morning, the line upon line and precept upon precept, amen, are the words of Isaiah to the church. To, to, to be able to make more clearly to you the teachings and the doctrines of God. It's all right to hoop. I know how to hoop. But I want to say something to stir up your pure mind this morning. Amen. The line, the, the, the evil look. The, the, amen. The eyes. The proudness of the eyes. Come on, say praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And God got it all in I'm going to say one more thing, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to sit down. You know, we, we have to be careful the things, the traditions that we scrap in the church. Let's not be so quick to throw away everything. Huh? Something we need to just keep right on doing. You know? To keep right on doing certain things. We should keep right on praying like we do. We should keep right on fasting like we do. They built it in this church. When I was the YPWW president, back in the 80s, 90s, both here and in the, the district, my thing was I was a historian, and still I am a historian. I love the fathers of the church. O.T. Jones. Bishop Roberts, and I used to have a collage. I taught by those men. And Mother Durham, you know what happened to me a, a month ago? I had the assignment to go to Bishop O.T. Jones Church in Philadelphia. 
You from, you from up that way? Holy temple. Man, I went in there. Now you still can feel the power of God in that place. Yes, sir. And his son, his son pastored that church too. O.T. Jr. You go in the office, it's still the same. You can feel the anointing of God in this holy temple. And I used to teach about them in the YP session. I taught about Dad Mason. I taught about O.T. Jones. I taught about J.O. Patterson. I taught about Lewis Henry Ford. I taught about F.D. Washington. I taught about uh, O.M. Kelly. They were my, they were my champions. I taught about Ella Burden. I taught about Dad Spence. I taught about, amen, of the, of the different pioneers of the community. And I went to Holy Temple, and I had a chance to sing in that church. I sung some of the old hymnals in that church. I sung, where could I go but to the Lord? And the church went up when I was singing. I said, could not God bring you among great men? <laughs> Come on, let's say praise the Lord, y'all. You don't, want, you, you don't need to shout on everything. I know how to get you going. I hit the cat. Hit it. <laughs> I do tell him to hit it. And I don't want you to hit it. I want you to hear me. Huh? How many of y'all hate people in here? Is it anybody that's hating on anybody? Well, let me hear you say, Lord, I love thee. And the, only. and the only. I don't hate nobody. I don't know nobody I can't get along with unless you're just a fool. <laughs> you can't get along with a fool now. Huh? You might well shut it down. You a fool or a fool to make you look like you ain't got it all. <laughs> Won't it? Won't he do it, lawyer? What he do it? The Bible said, I'll go not with a fool. Didn't he say it? What I look like trying to, trying to handle You know, the fool said in his heart, there ain't no God. That's a fool. You heard the story about the fool that went up on Pikes Peak in Aspen, Colorado, and he went up there and said, God, I, don't, I know you ain't out there. If you're God, strike me dead. For all his atheistic friends. And say, God, let a net choke him to death. <laughs> oh, I ain't got time to mess around with you. He's God. He don't need your permission. He don't need your endorsement. He's God. Bishop, I didn't know that was you back there. Oh, God, forgive me. That's Bishop Asbury James. Y'all, let's give him a big hand. That's my friend. <laughs> Mr. Drain, drink a, he drank a lot of water. You know, I got him hooked on that water that I drink. <laughs> God! God all by himself. He don't need no help. He just let us in the groove with him. But he really don't need your help. But yet, he need all of us. He put it in our hands. He gave me the message. I got the message. The world is dying. He gave me the answer. I got the key. Huh? And it's enough power and what God placed in him to save the world. You can, you, can, you can just talk Jesus, and that's enough. You can just talk Jesus. Woo! Mother Durham, I love you. Mother Durham, I don't, I'm asking, but I pray every day that the Lord let me leave my wife like your husband left you. 
I'm not playing about that. She's a, she's a great inspiration. You know why I say that? Because that lady, Mother Durham, left her home, Bishop and Bishop. She left her home, her and her husband, moved here to Virginia as a place of retirement. They left New York City. She's, a, she's accustomed to O.M. Kelly and Bishop F.D. Washington. She know about those preachers. Her mother was a great uh, missionary in the church. She grew up cogent. And she came here to settle down and retire. And the Lord took her husband in the process. She told me that she never looked back. She kept and pursued what her husband had put in place for them. And she's still standing. And Mother Darren, how many years you been here now? 20 some years. Huh? Still living like somebody is physically is taking care of her, but God is taking care of her. And that's the way I want. And, and, and he left her. She independent. She merely mouthing. She not. She's in no desperation for nothing. She got her own money. She got her own house. That's how her husband left her. She ain't got nobody to, you know, run into the past, ask me, could you loan me $2 and all that. I don't hear that from Mother Down. And when, I, and when I see her and I reflect, so many of our great men have gone on. Not necessarily to leave their Widow like that. I want to leave my wife in some kind of space. I don't want her to have to ask y'all for nothing. Huh? Is that, is that proper thinking? I don't want her, I don't want her, can't get, you need to borrow five dollars to put in the tank. My first lady, you, you <laughs> praise God. Oh, none of y'all want that. So that's why I reflect to Mother Durham. She's, she's my first lady. I mean, she's my church mother, right? She's a great example to me. Praise God. That's the way my daddy left my mama. My mama ain't had to ask for nothing. But to see her living among me, it gives me great inspiration. I tell my wife, you watch Mother Durham, because I want you just like that when I go. I'm going to tell you all right now, my wife ain't going to live down there on Brooklyn. Uh, when I close my eyes, she's going she gonna to leave there. She's going to get her something else. But I told her, that's the best property in the world. Huh? It's 1 o'clock already. I'm through. I'm through. I wouldn't dare bore you no more. But look, I want you all to pray for me. Pray for my family. Pray for my wife. And uh, I'm going to Memphis. I thought that was a straight through. Let me have that. <laughs> hey. hey, you know, hey, you know what? I thought that was straight through. You know that happened to me one time before, Bishop Apostle. I was helping the presiding bishop in uh, in where were we? We were somewhere, and they told me to help him with his bag, and it was a revolving door. And I grabbed his bag and went to the revolving door. I thought it was a push door. And I walked right into the revolving door. <laughs> Cut my eye all across. And Bishop Wells just acted up so bad. He told me, man, you got blood on the presiding bishop's shoes. <laughs> so my eyes are a little funny, you know. <laughs> The call of discipleship is, is, is to two classes of people, the saved and the unsaved. He told the apostles to go and make disciples of men. As to the first class of people, the unsaved, I extend this invitation to you. 
Is there anybody here today that don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sin? And you came here today to hear a word. God can save you right now forever. You can come down now and, you can, and we can repent with you and ask God into your life and you accept Jesus in the pardon of your sin. You can be saved forever. You don't need a a uh, tambourine and a brass band. All you need is faith. God has saved you. And you can be saved forever. I'm going to give you a few minutes. If you, if you don't know the Lord in the pardon of your sin, will you just stand? I want to pray for you. Everybody here must be all right. That's how we got 100%. And then the second call of discipleship is to those persons that are saved. You are saved and you are calling for the elders of the church where they can pray for you because there are things going on in your life and some things are too big for you. Some things you can't handle yourself. Something you need God's attention with. And you want God to intervene for you. Will you stand? Will you stand? You desire prayer. You, you, will you stand? And you're and you just looking for prayer. You want God. You got a situation in your life that you want God to handle for you. In the name of Jesus. Y'all, y'all, y'all together? You're not. That's Uncle. Uncle, what's your name? Uncle, Uncle Sharad. Nisi, what's your name? Tiana. Tiana and Uncle Sharad. Where y'all from? From Missouri. New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay, that's from your. That's. Oh, you stay with you. Oh man. Oh yeah. You say something then. <laughs> <laughs> that's like. <laughs> Lift up your hands, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I don't know what they're asking for, but you told them to make their requests made unto you. And the God of peace, that pass of all understanding, will touch their hearts and their minds. Lord, whatever that situation that's going on in their life, Lord, that's too big for them. We come up against it by the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus. Lord, stretch out your hand now. I rebuke the devil. And Lord, and if it's any sickness or diseases that may be in their life, I cast it out now. I plead the blood of Jesus against it. In Jesus' name, I pray. Come on, let's give the Lord a great big hand praise for them. Huh? Bernice, 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 could I get a missionary to just go back there to Bernice Fall? Sister, will you go with, okay, Sister Burden, Sister Burden, put your hand in my hand. Yes, and Sister Bernice, Bernice, you going with us? Go, go back there and y'all lay, lay hands on Bernice. In the name of Jesus. Lord, look on Sister Forbes. Lord, you know what she's asking for. Lord, you know what she's going through. Lord, you know what she's in need of. Stretch out your hand now. Touch and heal her body. In Jesus' name. Oh, I got up my soul. Eli I got up my sanda. Hey, hey, hey. What do I have to say? What do I have to say? Oh, how do I have to walk each and every day? Each and every day. Tell me what does it Tell come? Tell me what does it come? Ah, if I carry the cross, oh, so let me be. Father, in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, you know what Sister Salido is asking for. I ask now that you would rebuke the devil. Let the devil be bound right now, Lord. Put your hand of protection around them. In the name of cover them in your blood. Cover them as they're going in, as they're coming out. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, to walk Bishop, in the noonday Bishop, Bishop, can I pray for you? Bishop is going to be the last one that I pray for. Bishop, come down, Bishop. Come on down, Bishop. Oh! What do I have to do? What do I have to say? What do I have to say? What do I have to walk? How do I have to walk? Lord, look over my friend and my brother. Lord, will you touch his body? Would you make him whole today? In the name of Jesus. Hey! Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Oh, Jesus, I'm through, Pastor. I'm through. Me, a follower of Christ. I want to be one of his disciples. I want to walk. Donna Gregory, another hand for allowing the Lord to use him on the day. And saints, we know we can't pay for the word, but we're going to raise a speaker offering to bless Ella Gregory. And Ella Davis is coming now. And uh, you are in the hands of the ushers. Jesus, I'd never forget what Everyone you've standing, done please. for me. Jesus, I'd never Everyone forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'd never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I never forget, no, never. Jesus, I never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I never forget, no, never. How can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you set me free? How can I forget how you brought me out? Jesus, I never forget, no, never. You've done so much for me, Lord, I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all, 
You've done so much for me, and I cannot tell it all. You have taken all my sins away. You've been so good, so good, so good, so good, so good. So good. God and man, so good, so good, so good. He has been so good to me. So good, so good, so good, so good, so good, so very good. He's been so good, so good, so good, so good. He has been so good to me. given. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word on today, O oh God. We thank you for your manservant, O oh God. Now, Father, we ask that you would bless this offering, O oh God, Lord. Let it be a blessing to him, O oh God, Lord. And, O oh God, we just thank you, Lord, for the gift and for the giver, O oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, saints, I believe it is time to go home. <laughs> we had church up in here today. Yeah. We ought to be encouraged. And I know we, we came one way, but we should be leaving another way. Yes. And I am encouraged. Yes. And I, so, so let us all stand, please. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for what our eyes have seen, for what our ears have heard, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for the word that was spoken here today, O oh God. We thank you for the visiting of your Holy Spirit, O oh God. Now, Father, let us depart this place, but not your presence, O oh God. Go with us over the dangerous highways, O oh God, to our separate places, and bring us back at the appointed time. Now, may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide henceforth, now and forevermore. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen.